this is Lucinda Howe. Today I'm working with acrylic texture mediums. Do you have a lot of this stuff sitting around in your studio gathering dust? Do you wonder what to do with it? Do you ever wonder what makes this white goo different from this white goo and all the other white goo in these bottles? Well today I'm going to give you three tips for working with these mediums. First of all, this is acrylic polymer base without any um, without any color in it. No pigment is added to this. So it is a white color to start with, but it will dry either clear or opaque white depending on what additives have been added into it. Some things are added on purpose to make it opaque. Other things are added for texture or color. This has little black flakes of um, lava in it. There are also glass beads and pumice in some of these so they can add a lot of texture to your paintings. But first of all, let me show you something not to do. And I did this um, in the past when I opened this jar and then tried to open it again. This stuff dries hard and you get um, a crack in your lid when you go to open it if you're not careful and that's what I've done here. So to get around that, when you open a new jar, you can take a little bit of Vaseline and put this right around the edge and then when you close the lid it will keep it tight. The second thing you need to know about this is that all of these have glue-like tendencies and so you can use them with a collage or you can add other additives to your painting. In this example I have glued on crumpled rice paper using a soft gel and you can glue other kinds of paper uh, for collage or you can add in little bits of sand or found objects to stick to your painting with just about any of these. And the third thing is that these are good for mixed media. You can add in uh, charcoal as I, you see here. Uh, you can mix it with markers and you can tint this with any kind of acrylic paints, either the tubes or the fluid paints for color. And you can do that as a wash on top or you can mix it with the medium before you put it in. So get out some of these things and try them out and have a little fun. Next week I'll show you if I made any progress on this piece. Thanks for listening. This is Lucinda Howe. Please check out my website at www.lucindahowe.com. Thank you.